And thank you everybody for coming, traveling, and being with us. Because the Holy Ghost has already talked to Presley in her heart lots of times. That comfort and peace that only the Spirit can give. I love you. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. pictures from my baptism because my baptism is coming up and I need to take pictures for the invitation. So we are starting to do it but now I want to tell you guys what baptism is about. It's where like when you turn eight usually you go to somewhere and you get baptized. It's where your dad and mom or your dad just holds you like this and they hold your hand and then they hurry and duck you under water and then pull you up. It also takes off all of the bad things you've done in life and it makes it just come off clean and it's something that is in with the church and it's like when you turn eight you have to repent and it means that you get your scriptures and you start reading them and it makes me really excited to do it because now mine's coming up and I'm getting super excited to do it. What's really special about that thing is that you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is very special, and that's my most favorite, exciting part. The reason I wanted to get baptized is because Jesus did it, and I want to follow him. And he's very special. Three thousand miles from home Trying to say That I will get there soon Thirty days I walk down this way Singing my madness to the moon I met a cat on a tree And it talked to me About things we don't see I asked it how do I know which is the right way to go to get me home And it said don't look for a reason, don't look for a journey will be our course
Forrester, and we would like to begin by singing an opening song, When I Am Baptized, and then we're going to ask Kennedy to give the opening prayer. We'll go to that point. Kennedy got engaged last night, so she's officially getting ready to go to the temple to get married. We're excited. We love her very much. So the first verse we're all going to sing together, you should have a copy of the words. And the second verse, Presley's going to sing, and Luke might come up and help her a little bit. Presley, and then we'll go to that point. We'd like to ask Grammy and Grandma if you will be our, our witnesses in there. Yeah. Heavenly Father, how does he do it? Now, if Heavenly Father has enough power to clean the whole earth, can we make a person clean? Can he make a soul clean? Yes. How does he make our soul clean? Exactly. Now pretend like this is a person. This is a dirty leaf. Okay. It's not very dirty because it's just a small leaf like you are. And there is not too much surface for sins or dirt to make to stick. As we get older, there's a lot more room for the sins to stick. We even are baptized, all of them are washed away. Now I have a question for you. Do you remember of a time in the Bible that the holy earth was washed clean? It was more than just a little frame. What happened? The earth was baptized. No, the earth was baptized. Did it stay perfectly clean? That is how we are as much as we want to stay perfect. Thank you. 
We will now have a talk on the Holy Ghost. Baby promised that we'll be able to feel the spirit of the Holy Ghost if we're here, if we're paying attention and listening. So I invite everyone to pay close attention, especially to your feeling. As, as mom, let's share with you about the Holy Ghost. Okay, and we'll go to that point. And again, after that, we'll have confirmation. So you guys have heard this talk. Whoever part of our family has probably heard this talk like... Hmm. What number are you? You're number 11. Eight, no, not how old are you? Anyway, you guys have probably heard it a lot. Because, everyone's doing the math now. Kennedy, Kathy, You're number 12 in our family. Did you know that? 12 is a great number, actually. So, you probably heard that talk now 12 times. Um, the first time I gave this talk, but then every time after that, the most recent person that was baptized gave the talk to their sibling. So it's kind of been cool because everybody's kind of talked for their next sibling down. So that's been kind of a fun thing to pass down. But the talk that I always give, which is on the Holy Ghost, Presley, it's always different. You know why? Because every one of you guys are different. Even though we have 16 kids or any one of you just exactly the same. No, not even the precious peas. And they were going to be twins, but it didn't quite work out, huh? So you came a couple years later. But let's get to sit you up here. Is that okay? Can I come sit you up here? Because I think it's fun for everyone to see your cute little face. And she's got these brand new little sun kisses on her nose that just appeared over the past month. Anyway, so for Presley, so Presley this morning, I woke up early and Presley just for some reason woke up and she came in my room when I was reading my scriptures and she sat on my lap and we had a big long talk about the Holy Ghost and about a lot of special things. About the three dresses that she would wear and she's already worn two of them now. And the next dress, pretty soon Kennedy's going to get to wear her cast as well. And we talked about something really special because the Holy Ghost has already talked to Presley in her heart lots of times. And there's a very sacred story that we have that if it's okay with all of you, we will share. I hope that you can keep it sacred in your hearts too because it's very sacred to our family. So, a few years ago, before we built our house that we live in now, mommy had a baby in her tummy, huh? And then it wasn't time for that baby to come. And so I had a miscarriage, huh? And Presley was very little at that time. She was like maybe almost three. And two, yeah, like almost three, right? And then we moved into our house, and one night we were having a family night. And not very often, but for some reason this family night, I just really put together this fun video, right? And put a lot of work into it and had showed all the kids growing up and had it set to the song called um, Symphony by David Archuleta. It's very good. And anyway, we all watched it and it was very neat to see everyone grow up with these pictures, huh? And we all felt the spirit so strong. And in a family as big as mine for family night, that's far and few between, to be honest, because it's usually pretty crazy. But that night, we felt the spirit really strong. We all gave each other a big hug. And then most of the kids went off to go get the treat. And I was cleaning up the computer and stuff from the video. And Presley walked over. And she was like Beckham's age by this time. And she walked over and she said, Mom, that video kind of made like it made me kind of cry like I love our family so much but it kind of made me miss my little brother you know the little brother that was here and I'm like what little brother and she's like you know the little brother that lived with us in our other house and I used to play with them and then she started crying these big crocodile tears and she said you know the one mom and she was kind of frustrated that I didn't know and she said you know the one that I played with and he was little and his didn't work right and she started crying really hard she said so we had to go back to heaven don't we remember him and I said no I don't come and tell me more and so I sat on the couch and Cassidy happened to be close and dad and she told us all about this little baby brother that she played with huh? and then she said we sat like a train and we put the dolls out and we played and then it was really sad because he had to go back up to heaven and then she got really frustrated because she said I don't remember his name. I can't remember his name. And then she even got on her little knees right there in front of the couch and she said a little prayer to try to remember his name. Huh? And she got up and said, I still don't remember his name. And she was so disappointed that she didn't remember his name. But mommy thought, we have 15 kids and we are done. I knew we were done, right? I said, so I even told her, in heaven, maybe we will get to have him, right? But then just two months later, 
big surprise. Mommy at 45 was pregnant with surprise little Ledger. <laughs> yeah. And so Presley had such an amazing experience, and I explained to her this morning when we were talking about that, hey, hey. that the Holy Ghost is who helped you have that experience. The Holy Ghost is who helps yeah. you have ideas and visions in your mind and in your heart. The Holy Ghost helps you be protected. The Holy Ghost can warn you in your heart when something is scary and you need to get away. It can also make you feel very comfortable when you're sad. And I wanted to give you this. And Kennedy said that this is the only part of my talk she could remember from when she was eight. <laughs> so I thought I better for sure do this part since it's the only part she could remember. Which is, this is, what is this? This is called a comforter. Do you know why this has anything to do with the Holy Ghost? This is a big comforter. They only had a king. I couldn't find the queen or, <laughs> or the twin. Is that nice? Does that feel so warmy and softy? Why do you think that the comforter has anything to do with the Holy Ghost? Yeah. He's a comforter, and it's very special because you know what? The adversary can mimic a whole bunch of things, but he can't mimic this. That comfort and peace that only the Spirit can give. Will you always remember this even when you grow up and you're going to wear your third dress like Kennedy? Will you remember that we wrapped you in this and this is the Holy Ghost? I'm so glad. I love you. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right, help you get down. Oh. Everyone that has a Melchizedek priesthood, if you want to join, please come on out. What are the closing remarks, Presley? Presley, these are my closing remarks because this is what is the most important thing. We have a Heavenly Father. He lives. And we have a Heavenly Mother. And they live in Heaven and they're proud of you when they're watching this. I'm sure that there are angels. I'm sure Grandpa's here somewhere. Grandma Gray and many other people that you have learned to love that have passed away. I know that our Savior lives, that he, he died for us, that He was resurrected. And that if we will follow Him, Presley, we will be happy. We will be able to make mistakes, be forgiven as we go to Him. And sometimes we might even make a mistake that we have to go talk to the bishop, but that's okay. Because Heavenly Father has called bishops and given them that authority and that right to be able to help us to repent and, and tell him the things that we may have done and then he has the power to help us get back on the straight and narrow path so that we can be clean and be able to return to with him and i want you to know how much i love the savior i have never seen him but i know that he lives and i know that families can be together forever we have the priesthood on the earth. And through the priesthood, we can go to the temple as Kennedy's going to, to get silk to a companion, and also to our children, so that we can be together forever. I'm so grateful to be able to stand here and tell you how much I love you, and how proud I am of you and all the choices you've made. And I hope you will always know that you, you're safe. That you can talk to me and mom. And you have all of us that love you so much. So thank you so much for letting us come here and, and uh, participate today with the Spirit. We will conclude by singing, I am a child of God. And then Presley has asked Cassidy to say the closing prayer. And then anyone that would like to come over, you're planting flowers and trees. And <laughs> you're walking, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I may be going on, but mom and everyone else has, has made a lunch so that we can spend some time together. So we'd like to invite everyone to, to come. Do you want to say anything, Presley, before we sing and say the prayer? <laughs>
Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Good job. All right. Wonderful, beautiful. Oh, geez, someone's getting tired. <laughs> someone's getting tired. <laughs> Exhausting. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you have any questions about what a baptism is or anything about our beliefs, I am going to link down below because I do get a ton of questions and emails. And I will link down below a link to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below. Yeah. Give us a big thumbs up. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.